in medical school. Begins with eighth grade algebra, which she'll need to take when she moves up to Stevenson Middle School. By the time she leaves Stevenson, only 13% of her classmates will be proficient in math. I might go to Stevenson. My sister goes there. She says it's really fun. Just that people make a big drama about it. Stevenson feeds into Roosevelt, one of the worst performing high schools in Los Angeles. The way that the California public university system is set up is there's a set of uh, 15 courses called the A through G. Uh, that you have to meet in order to be accepted into a four-year university. Only three out of a hundred students at Roosevelt will graduate with the classes necessary for admission to a four-year university. And 57% of Daisy's classmates won't graduate. We basically know which students are going to drop out in the next five years. We know which schools they go to, and with just a little bit of digging, we can see them raising their hands and saying, help. Dr. Robert Balfans at Johns Hopkins University has been studying schools like Roosevelt. He calls these schools where over 40% of the students don't graduate on time. Dropout factories. Balfans began to see a pattern in cities, suburbs, and rural areas, failing elementary and middle schools, feeding poorly educated students into local high schools where they last one or two years. In his research, he found over 2,000 dropout factories. Locke High School in Los Angeles was one of the worst. In 2008, Steve Barr took control. Between 9th and 10th grade at this school, they go from 1,200 freshmen to 300 to 400 sophomores. So we lose, you know, 800 kids between 9th and 10th grade. They come in to 9th grade. Um, this school, the kids reach somewhere between a 1st and 3rd grade reading level. Um, they've been pushed through the system. 